Duty, honor, and courage are things most of us keep on the high shelf away from everyday items like responsibility and dependability. We spend our days getting along, getting by, and with luck, getting ahead. Duty, honor, and courage are precious things reserved for special occasions. Too fragile, we tell ourselves, for the rough and tumble of daily life. Many of us spend life denying the truth, pretending duty, honor, and courage are heirlooms that increase in value when pristine condition is compounded with the sweet sentimentality of time. Only those who press these tools into regular service understand duty, honor, and courage are essential to a life well lived. Long before he celebrated his 35th birthday, John Tummelson knew that duty, honor, and courage were like all good tools. The more one used them, the better. U.S. Navy Petty Officer John T. Tummelson did not keep duty, honor, and courage in that high, out-of-the-way place. They were a part of everything he was and did. He put them to use every day, up until his very last heroic breath. Tummelson joined the U.S. Navy on July 17, 1995, following graduation from the Rudd Rockford Marble Rock Community School. He graduated from Recruit Training Command, Great Lakes, Illinois in September and completed basic underwater demolition, SEAL School, Coronado, California in April 2002. He served in three West Coast-based Special Warfare Units and in two East Coast-based Special Warfare Units. John Tummelson gave his life along with 30 other Americans, 21 being fellow Navy SEALs on August 6 last year. On their way to assist a team of Army Rangers pinned down in a battle in remote Afghanistan. On his way to do his duty with honor, John Tummelson displayed a courage he never thought about tucking away for tomorrow. You see, a hero does not keep these things out of harm's way. He constantly employs them in everything he does. John Tummelson did, and we salute him for that. John Tummelson may not have been aware his unwavering friendship and his commitment to family, community, and country were uncommon. Those who knew him saw it. His dog, Hawkeye, understood. <laughs>